Photographer Kate Garrity and I have just returned from five days of reporting in the West Bank. Reporters are currently not able to access Gaza from Israel, but you can cross over relatively easily into the occupied territories of the West Bank. That's where around three million Palestinian residents live and about half a million Israeli settlers. What we found there was fascinating, but also very confronting. One of the things you very quickly notice while driving around the West Bank is a large concrete security barrier that Israel has been building since 2002 and stretches for hundreds of kilometers throughout the West Bank. Israel says this is necessary to prevent terrorist attacks, but Palestinians as a rule are very offended by this wall, which they say is a symbol of the occupation they live under and that it also makes life difficult to move around there and separates Palestinian communities from each other. We began our reporting trip by observing Friday prayers in the de facto Palestinian capital of Ramallah. From there, a very large protest developed that worked through the streets of Ramallah against Israel's air bombing in Gaza. There, you could see people displaying the green flag of Hamas, but also the yellow flag of Fatah, the more moderate party that governs the West Bank. After that, we witnessed violent clashes that regularly break out between Palestinian protesters who hurl rocks at Israeli forces, who then respond with gunfire. At least eight people were taken to hospital with bullet wounds. At the protest, we met a Fatah general who lives in a village nearby and gave us a tour of the olive farms in the area. There's been many increasing incidents of tension between Israeli settlers there and Palestinian farmers. From there, we traveled south to the ancient city of Hebron, which is significant both to Islam and Judaism. There, we met Palestinian market sellers who say they feel besieged by the rapid expansion of Jewish settlements in the area. People are afraid to open their shops, to be honest, uh, because of the attacks of the settlers sometimes around here. Um, uh, we're trying hard to make a living. Would you believe it that uh, for the last two weeks we didn't earn anything here? We, we still come here every day to just uh, to make sure that these shops, uh, uh, we still open these shops because this means a lot to us. It's a heritage from the family. Meanwhile, Israeli settlers there so they feel under regular threat from their Palestinian neighbors. 